Thank you, Richard. Michael, it is becoming more expensive each and every day to live in South Africa. Yet the ANC is set on increasing the prices of fuel, electricity and food. What is the DA doing to fight this? Karaba, you're absolutely right. The cost of living is becoming more expensive for everyone. But what always happens in these instances is that it's the poor that are hardest hit. That's because they spend a disproportionate amount of the little that they have on food, fuel and electricity. Now we've seen that the price of petrol, diesel and paraffin has gone up very recently. ESCOM has also proposed a 20.5% increase in the electricity tariff. What is the DA doing? We've called on the minister to completely revise, revisit and review the uh, fuel pricing model. As far as ESCOM is concerned, we want to become less reliant on ESCOM with alternative sources of energy. But we've also launched a massive petition uh, which has garnered tens of thousands of signatures objecting to this 20.5% uh, increase and it's DA mayors in municipalities across the country that we govern that are really driving this particularly hard. Mm. There is obviously a conversation around jobs. Each and every year we hear how millions of jobs are going to be created. But, but why are none of these promises materialising? Well, it's very hard to create jobs when you don't have the big picture right. And unfortunately, the ANC adopts policies which have the effect of strangling growth, killing jobs and deterring investment. Without economic growth and without investment, you are not going to get job creation. So we need to take things off the table like expropriation without compensation, which frightens investors. Uh, they become very risk averse. And we also need to look at other policies which deter investors. Where the DA governs, we make sure that we focus on getting the basics right, that we deliver services and that we create the environment which is conducive to investment, growth and therefore job creation. Yeah, and this is why the DA, DA governments have the lowest unemployment rate across the Precisely. country. Precisely. Right? If you look at the towns uh, that the DA governs, inevitably they have much lower unemployment rates than where the ANC governs. Yeah. Parting shots, what is your mandate to the President? Three things that I would call on the President to focus on. Firstly, he needs to take expropriation without compensation in any guise off the table completely. It's a, it's a non-starter. Secondly, in order to create jobs in South Africa, we really need to relook at our labour market. It's very rigid. Uh, we've got labour laws and labour regulations which really stifle employment creation. Uh, for example, collective bargaining agreements are automatically extended to small firms and to new firms. We need to take that off the table too and exempt small and new firms from those collective bargaining agreements. And thirdly, we need to cut red tape. We need to free up small businesses to employ as many people as they can and to incentivize them to do so. Thank you, Michael. We hope the president hears this and he'll finally show leadership. Thank you. Back to you in studio.